Hey guys, it's Joey from Local Motors. Today we're going to look at unboxing the Replicator 2 and putting it together to get it all set up. So the first step is going to be opening up the box. So you got your manual right in the top there. Highly recommend you read the whole thing before you jump into it. Foam pieces there you can take out, and you just reach in and pull the whole maker bot right out of the box. A couple more foam pieces in here, and then in the very bottom is another box with all your supplies. All right, so now we'll unpackage the maker bot. Just remove all the plastic. And there's a few pieces to remove now, so you've got these two straps here, and there's a little plastic piece that holds the belt in place that we're also going to take out. Alright, and then you have to be very careful when you take this plastic piece off not to pinch uh, the little cord in here, and that pops right out. Okay, so next we'll open up our box of the supplies that it comes with. Take all this stuff out. So in this box we have the power supply. And in this box we have our first spool of PLA. The box comes with one of the natural clear colors. So this bag comes with a USB cable, a mounting bracket to hold the PLA on the back of the MakerBot, and some tools for maintenance. We won't need those for the assembly. So the first thing we'll do is turn our MakerBot around. And you have two mounting spots here where you can mount two different rolls of PLA. So we'll just use the one on the left. This piece just slides right in there, sets in there nicely. PLA comes vacuum packaged because the oxygen actually degrades it. So when you have PLA at home, you want to leave it in the wrapping until you're ready to use it. Okay, so we'll find the end of it here. It's just taped on. And then this spool just pops right on in this arm here. Alright, so then you take this clear plastic tube that comes in the box. This goes from the top of the extruder here down into this little grabber. So what we'll do is take the tip of the PLA and feed it up through the tube into the top of the head. Now put the power supply together. So we 
plug the power cord into the power block here, and we can plug this right in the wall. The other end plugs into the power plug here. You want to make sure your switch is turned off. We don't want to turn it on yet. Just plug it in and get it ready to go. So once that's in there, turn the maker bot back around. Okay, so next we're going to mount the build plate. Build plate comes bubble wrap. All right, so the MakerBot build plate comes with these three masking tape covers. Uh, we don't recommend you use these. They run out really quickly. We actually make a vinyl cover in-house that you can get on localmotors.com slash shop. Um, this will get you quite a few more prints before you have to swap them out. So we'll go ahead and install this on the build plate. And you can use anything that's flat, cell phone or credit card, driver's license, just kind of smooth it out. All right. So now we'll install our build plate. You can see there's a missing notch down here and uh, one that sticks out in the back. So the one that is missing goes into the back of the maker bot. And you just push it up under the tensioner and drop it down. And then I usually just tap it in the middle to level it out because underneath it's all held up by springs. So you want to release any of the tension that might be on some of the other springs. All right, so at this point we're ready to turn the MakerBot on. Um, what I'm going to do is pull up this straw here out of the head of the extruder um, because we'll go through a whole process where we load the PLA in after we turn it on the first time. So I'll reach in the back and flip the switch. And make a bot lights up. This will guide you through the whole process of setting it up. Just click the M a few times to go through the menu. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the leveling process. So what we found works best is just a regular sticky note. Um, and basically, the tip of the head here is going to be placed right above the board in a few different areas. And what you want to be able to do is slide the sticky note between the board and the head uh, without it contacting. So you just barely want to have a little tiny gap between the head that's sticking down here and the bottom of the build plate. So touch the M and it'll go to its first position, which is right in the center there. So I'm going to take the sticky note, slide it underneath, and you can see it doesn't even go. So down here, there's little screws, and I'm going to unscrew this guy, bring the build plate down just a little bit until that sticky note fits underneath the head. There we go. So now I'll tighten it back up a little bit, just so it has enough room to slide around under there without too much friction. So then we'll hit the M button again, and it'll move to a different position. And we'll do the same thing again, adjusting these other screws up in the front. Solid there. So I'll move it to the next position and do the same thing again. There we go. Alright, so now we'll run through all three positions again. You just want to verify that it's right on the top.
Okay, and then when you're done with that process, it'll start heating up the extruder so that we can load the PLA into the top of it. So down here, it'll show you how it's heating up. When this gets all the way to the end, it'll ask you to put the PLA in. So now it's fully heated up and it's asking us to push the filament through. Basically, you want to take the tip of the PLA feed it into the top of the extruder here. You want to give it a little bit of pressure and it'll grab it and start pulling it on its own. So you don't want to force it through. Just give it enough to push it in and it'll take over and start pulling it itself and you'll see it start to come out of the extruder here. There we go. So once that's happening, you just push this straw in to keep that PLA guided into the top of it and we'll just let it burn off a little bit here to clean out the insides. You can see the tip of what came out is a little bit yellow from all the stuff inside the head so we just let it run a little bit. Now that it's spit out a little bit, just hit this M and then it asks did uh, the plastic extrude from the nozzle, we hit yes. So now it's stopped. Are we ready to make something? Yes we are. So the SD card comes preloaded with a few things to print. So we'll go ahead and print some chain links, but first I'm just going to reach in and grab this PLA, move it off the build plate. And you have to be very careful because the head operates at 230 degrees Celsius, so you never want to touch that head when it's heated up. So I'll pick the chain links that comes preloaded. It's going to raise the build plate and begin printing. Maker bot is up and running. <laughs>